Okay, so we're looking at SEC 2013, Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths, paper two, question five today. So it's asking us to prove the sign rule. So if you're looking for a more detailed video than this on explaining the sign rule, um, there will be a link in the description below to playlist. Uh, otherwise, you can try and follow this. Um, so draw a triangle ABC with angles A, B, and C marked in to be capital A, angles are always capitals, and C, small c, small b, small a, sides are always small. What do we know about this? We know the area of a triangle is equal to a half, a side, multiplied by a side, multiplied by the sine of the angle between the sides. And it's the sides that I'm referring to there. We know area is equal to area for this triangle. So we can go a half and what we're going to do is do it twice. In one scenario I'm going to deal with this side and this side. So it's B C sine of A and another one I'm going to deal with this side and this side. So it's A, C, and sine of B. Okay, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So I get B, C, sine A is equal to A, C, sine B. I'm going to divide both sides by C. So I get B, sine A is equal to A, sine B. Remember what I'm trying to get to? I'm trying to get to something that looks like this. I want the small a on top, so I'm going to go b is equal to a sine b over sine a, and I've divided by sine of a. Now I'm going to divide by sine of b, b sine of b is equal to a over sine a, but I wanted to prove all three. So I can say similarly, a over sine a is equal to b over sine b is equal to c over sine c and that's qed done the okay, next question in a triangle xyz the lengths xy so a little sketch now this is not good it's not accurate at all not accurate at all xyz xy is five xz is three X, Y, Z is 27. Find the two possible angles, or two possible values of X, Z, Y. So this guy here, Z. So is it a right angle triangle? No, we're assuming it's not, even though it's just a rough sketch. So then you go to your log tables. And on page 16, we have our rules that we can use. So the top section here. Do we need to use the area formula? No, we do not need to use the area formula. So we're only left with the sine rule or the cosine rule. So how to check do you use the sine rule? Do you know a side and the opposite angle? Which I call a pair. Do you know a pair here? No. Do you know a side and its opposite angle? A pair here? Yes. So therefore we're going to use the sine rule. So we're either going to use A over sine A. It's equal to B over sine B or sine A over A is equal to sine B over B. Now, which one do we use? Well, if we want the side, you'd use this one. And if you want the angle, you'd use this one. It's like D there, angle, you'd use this one. So we want an angle, so we're gonna use this one on the right. So it's the sine of Z, over its opposite side, which would be 5, is equal to the sine of 27 over its opposite side, which would be 3. Get rid of the fractions by multiplying by 5. Sine of z is equal to 5 sine 27 over 3. Get z on its own. Now, I'm going to stop for a second and actually decimalize this on the right-hand side. What do we get? 
we get 0 0.7566. Now, there's a hint in the question. It says find the two possible values. So what we're looking for is where is sine positive? So it's kind of peculiar that we have to go back and consider our unit circle for sines dealing with triangles but it's very important that we do because sine could be in one of two quadrants all sine tan cos sine could be or the angle z excuse me could be here but it might also be over here and you should really draw out a quick sketch there so z is either going to be take the sine in versus 0 0.756 and you get 49.16 degrees, or Z is equal to, so that one in the second quadrant is gonna be 180. Now, is it bigger or smaller than 180? It's smaller, so we're taking away the 49.16. Z is equal to 180 minus, it's 130.8 degrees. Give your answer correct to the nearest degree, so Z, is equal to 49 degrees or Z is equal to 131 degrees for two answers and I should really call it the measure of X X Z Y X Z Y is equal to 49 degrees or 131 degrees okay last part of the question then I think it asks you to sketch them yeah show the two possible positions of the point Z. Okay, so we've to go back and consider the start of the question then. I'm gonna just take a copy of the start of the question here and bring it down. Okay, so here's all the information that we know. We know XY is equal to five, XZ is equal to three, XYZ is 27. Oh, sorry, yeah, XYZ is equal to 27, and XZY is 49 or 131. Okay, so we need to draw a sketch of this. Now, it doesn't need to be accurate, but it definitely helps. It definitely helps uh, if you're using a ruler uh, and a protractor. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a protractor on this, so we'll see what we can work with. Okay, so I've drawn in the lens XY here, which is five units long. Now, I know that the length from X to Z is three long. Okay, so from here, it's going up three units, but I don't know where it's going up three, okay? So what about the angle at Y? The angle at Y, I know is 27 degrees from here. The angle at Y is 27 degrees. So what does 27 degrees look like? I don't know, 27 degrees is roughly that, okay? And I've drawn it in, and I'm drawing it in light. I don't know how long or far along here Z is. Do I know the length from Y to Z? No, I don't know the length from Y to Z, but I do know that the length from X to Z is three. So here, that's three long, one, two, three. And using my compass, I could swing it around and I would hit here. This is Z. Or if I had continued rotating that line, okay, this was three. If I'd continued rotating, it would hit it again, somewhere around here. Okay, now it's not perfect. I should really be using a protractor, but somewhere around here, and this would be Z prime. So there's two values of Z. This was our value of Z, where we had, what was it, 49 degrees? 49 degrees, and this is our value of Z, which is much bigger, the 131 degrees. Okay. Last question then. In the case that X, Z, Y, is smaller than 90, so what did we say? X, Z, Y is 49 degrees. Find the area of the triangle. 
Well, looking at our diagram, we knew this is 3. We knew this is 5. We know this is 27. We know this is 49. The area of a triangle is half AB sine C. I know two lengths, 3 and 5. Do I know the angle between them? Well, I know it's 49 and 27, so I could find that other length by going 180 minus 49 degrees minus 27 degrees. So that length would be 180 minus 49 minus 27. That other angle is 104 degrees. And I can go a half by 3 by 5 by the sine of 104 degrees. Throw that whole thing into your calculator, and you get sine of 104, 7.27, and it says correct to the nearest integer. So it'll be seven. Check the units were they centimeters? The units are centimeters, so it's seven centimeters squared area. Okay, long enough question to be honest. The marks going for it were 5, 10, 5, and 5. Okay, so hopefully you found the video useful. Um, if you're looking for a longer, more detailed explanation of the derivation of the sine rule, uh, do have a look in the description for the other playlist.